Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome back for some more TGC2. Today, this week is Masters Week and what I usually do is get a round out there of the latest updated version of Augusta. And this is Augusta National 18 Masters by Royce. So we're going to be playing Black Tees 7456 yards. We're going to go with pin set number four today. I usually just do pin set number one, but we will go with the Sunday pins. I don't want to do four rounds. Four you guys watching the same course over four rounds, so I will just do the Sunday pins. Let's get going. So the last time I played this, he's made quite a few adjustments for this year's Masters. He's changed the 11th, the 12th, the 15th, the 16th, the 18th. He's changed quite a lot of the lighting just to make it a bit better. And as you know, the greens on this course are going to be playing firm and fast, so they're going to be playing pretty tricky. Let me just flick over to my other screen because I cannot remember the holes off by heart. And I will give you the names. And this is hole one, T Olive. It's 456 yards, par four, stroke index 10. Got nine mile an hour wind coming in from about oh, the left hand side, that the right hand side, that eight mile. So I'm going to aim down by this bunker. That wind and my natural draw should push it round to the left. Not bad. Yeah, as I said, I'll do pin set number four. I don't want to do four rounds in the same course for you guys to watch. I find that pretty boring, to be honest, just watching the same course over four rounds. So we'll go with pin set four. Go for the Sunday pins. Okay, this is 148. That's playing around 154, so we'll go up to 155. Keep it over to the right hand side. As you see, you've got a big slope here to the back of the pin. So hopefully it's not going to go past that. If it does hit that, it should roll back towards the pin for me. Come on, how's the distance? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. That leaves us quite a shortish putt. But a birdie on the first hole of Augusta. Eight feet. Let's just try and smash this in here a little bit. As you see, it's 187, so it's played pretty fast. And we have our first birdie. Okay, hole two. This is Pink Dogwood. It's 575 yards, par five, stroke index 18. Uh, the colours, the colours lovely there, all the way down the left hand side, that big bunker to catch you if you slice it on the right hand side. Fairway just trundles all the way down towards the green. You've got a little little brook there just running down the, the left hand side as well. Oh, and the wind has picked up. This should be good. Do like a good challenge. Now, I'm just going to try and cut this corner a little bit. Should just get behind this tree here and my usual sort of draw should pull it around a bit I think. Oh that's a nice strike. I was expecting to cut a little bit more off that. It should hit the fairway, trundle all the way down. This is going to be a pretty big drive. Over 340. 347 yard drive. Okay, 233, so it's playing about 221. Now, I'm not going to be greedy here because if we go for the pin, it doesn't matter where we hit over here, it's going to end up over the back. And if I hit short, I'm going to be in some deep crap here in this bunker. So, let's just drop it down. We'll drop it down to the 7 iron, play down here, and we'll play for the pitch shot. And go for a birdie. I hope. <laughs> Oh, I could have went a little bit closer. That's not too bad, though. It's going to leave a nice little pitch shot in. 44. Got a 45-yard carry. We'll take just a little touch off of that. That should hold up. There we go. Tiny little tap in now for the birdie. Okay, hole three. 
This is called Flowering Peach, and it's 351 yards par 4, stroke index 14. Pretty short hole, this one. Got a lot of bunkers there on the left-hand side. Just after the bunker, you see this the fairway sloping way, way drastically to the left. That's where we want to be, just in that little dip. A little dip just down here, where it's pretty flat. Nine mile an hour wind coming in from the right. So I'll aim to the top of this little flat area here. And the wind should push it around for me. That should hit the fairway and bounce over to the left. There we go. Don't go too far. Oh, it's going to go on that little slope. So we're going to be left with a sort of left to right slope here, I think. Still not bad though. That's 47. Let's play about 51. So let's just drop some off of that. Yeah, it's a pretty small landing area. Oh, it's hit fast. Oh, crap. Oh, and it's just trickled onto the fringe. We're going to actually put this 14 feet, 3 inches up. I'm going to turn left to right. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, it turned too late. So it's going to leave us a pretty tricky little putt here for the part. Nice save. Come on, let's get this. So I'm going to try and take some of this break out. There we go. That's a par. I'll take a par there. That's whoa. a silly shot. I hit a fast on that. Hit shot that. Okay, hole four. This is called Flowering Crab Apple. And it's 240 yards par three, stroke index four, pin way over on the right hand side there, which is going to be pretty hard to get to. So it's actually playing around 231 with that wind. Ooh. 221. We don't want to be short, we don't want to be in that bunker, we want to be just off the back end there. Come on. How's the distance? That's going to bounce on the green and just trickle off the back. It's going to leave us a downhill chip, if I remember right. Oh, pretty severe. One foot down. This could be tough. I'm going to put full loft on this. Aim it way over to the left hand side here. I don't want to put a lot on this. It's not bad. It's not bad. Still quite a tricky little putt though. All oh, the putts on these greens are pretty tricky. Six feet. Let's just again try and take some of this break out. There we go. You don't want to do that too much because if you just catch that lip, it's going to lip out on these fast greens. Okay, hole five. This is Magnolia. 455 yards. Par four. Stroke index 12. A couple of huge bunkers there, right cutting into the fairway. The fairway just turns a little bit round to the left. Can't wait for TGC 2019 to start getting some spectators in these grandstands and stuff like that. The pin is right on the back left there. Okay, so we're just going to hit up towards the bunkers here. Oh dear, and he's hit a fast. He could be in the bunker. Please kick right. Oh, he's kicked left. Of course it would kick left. This is Augusta. Okay, this is going to be tricky. As you see, big deep face here. 169. Not going to reach that. No chance, I don't think. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. 179. Might just try this, you know. You've got a big massive slope right to left. We've got the wind coming in from left to right. Oh, this could be. This could go anywhere. Let's go for it. Oh, it's going to go on the green, but that is going to leave me one hell of a putt. Oh, no, it's coming off. Come on. As you know, if I'm on the green, I will putt it. I won't chip it. 
So I'm glad that has actually jumped off. That gives us a good chance at a save here. A36. I'm going to go with pitch shot. Down to the 45. Oh, come on. Let's get this close. Oh, that's a fast again. I need to sort that out. I need to stop that. Oh, that's going to leave us a tricky putt for a save. This could be the first bogey. Okay. It's got a kind of little double breaker here. 17 feet, 4 inches up. Oh, nice save. Get in now. I'll gladly take that. Hey, hole six. This is Juniper. And it's 180 yards. Par three, stroke index eight. Okay, you've got the pin kind of on this little shelf right on the backhand, the right hand side here. A tough landing position. 13 mile an hour wind in my face. So that's not good. It's 184. That's playing about 177. Let's go with a 192. Oh, ho, ho, this could be tough. Yeah, the wind's going to push it round towards the pin. All depends on distance now. Oh, that is not bad at all. <gasps> oh, 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 Jesus. Oh, that was bloody close. Oh, that would have been sweet. Come on. Oh. Okay, six foot, one inch up. Again, let's try and take some of this break out. That was sweet. That was nice. 30 mile an hour wind in the face downhill. That was a good one. Okay, hole seven. And this is a Pampas, 450 yards, path watch, stroke index two. And you see all the little humps and bumps that he's got there on the fairway. Absolutely spot on. Huge bunkers all dotted around the green there. Look at where that pin is. Damn, that is going to be tough. Got 11 mile an hour wind coming in from the left. Wind should keep that on for me. Push it a little bit more to the right. Come on. There we go. And as you see, the fairway's just sloping slightly to the right. Now, this is going to be pretty tough. 149. That's playing around about 156. But we've got that wind against this. So I'm actually going to down loft this just to counteract some of that wind here. I'm going to aim it over to the right. Wind hopefully will push it around. Oh, that pin is dodgy. Look at that. And that little bow. Oh, he's hit fast. Oh, crap. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'll leave us a little pitch shot, a little chip shot. Let's get full loft on that. Aim it a little bit to the left because we're on a pretty big slope. That stopped dead. Look at that. Okay, that's another part. We're doing not bad. We're doing not bad. I think as well, when you play this course, you know the greens are fast. They're going to be tough. You get a bit tentative. You get a little bit, whoa, a little bit of adrenaline. And that's what actually screws your game up, I think. Okay, this is hole eight. And this is a yellow jasmine, 571 yards, par 5, stroke index 16. But this is a beautiful course. Okay, I'm going to aim over to the, just inside the bunker there. 7 mile an hour wind. My usual little draw should pull it just, just to the left of that, I hope. Yeah, it's going to be spot on. It's going to probably bounce and kick left, I think. There we go. 
What a nice little fly area here. Okay, 263. It's playing over 280, so we're not going to reach the green in two. We're just going to smash a three bird up here. That should leave us a nice little pitch in towards the green. Oh, it might not even be a pitch, it might be a chip. That looks a little bit close. Oh yeah, I should have bloody knocked that down another club and left myself a full pitch in there, I think. So let's go with the 16 yards. Add a little bit of loft. Go on, baby. Oh yes, eagle. Get in now. That was nice. Okay, hole nine. Uh, this is a Carolina Cherry. This is 461 yards, par four, stroke index six. And we'll get the fairway just thins right down there, then opens up huge, huge area there. Green over to the left hand side, two big bunkers on the left edge of it. Again, the pin sort of on a middle shelf here, a bit to the right. Now the wind's going against us here. And mine are coming in from the left. So I'm hoping my little draw should keep us down the left hand side. That's not bad. That's looking okay. I, mean, I think he's got the the slopes and the, the elevations absolutely spot on. It looks absolutely fantastic. This is going to be really tough. 821. So it's playing around about 130. We've got 8 mile an hour wind in our face. I've just dropped the loft a little touch. I'm going to try and get up to that top shelf there. Oh, come on. How's the distance? Oh, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Oh, come on, baby. I'm happy with that. Little straight putt. Four in, four feet, three inches down. And there we go with another birdie. Okay, so nine holes, six under. Got, I had a nice eagle down the sixth there, on the, the eighth. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. Hole 10, and this is Camellia. 495 yards. Par four stroke index one. So this is playing the hardest hole in the course. It is all the way downhill towards the, the green here. Huge big bunker right in front of the green. And one just to the right hand side. Again, we we'll try and cut this round. Might even put a little bit of draw on that. Even though I'm pulling it round, I've just needed that little bit more. It should kick left, I hope. Come on, there we go. Kick left, catch a slope. Add a bit more distance. 335 yards, 336. Yeah, that's leaving 150. Probably around about 146. I think I might go with a 142 here. Got that 7 mile an hour wind as well. It's going to help a little bit. Oh, that's a good strike. We are on a, a right to left slope there, but the wind's kept it straight. Oh, oh I've just overhit it. Just a little touch. This could be a tricky putt. You've got to be kind of close to these holes if you want a good chance at a birdie here. It's 15 feet, three inches down. It's turning left to right. It's going to turn quite a bit, I think. Now I'm just going to tap this. Oh, I just missed it. And as you see, I just tapped out there and look how far that's gone past the hole. Oh, 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 oh. could be our bird. It could be our bogey hole here. Yeah, it's not too bad. 11 feet, four inches up. Done for me. Go on. Oh, nice save. 
I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but it is absolutely pelting it down outside. Okay, this is Holt 11, and this is White Dogwood. 506 yards, par 4, stroke index 3. Yeah, as you see, the fairway is just going to turn around to the right hand side here, just coming out of the shadows. I love the big bit of water down there. Oh, this looks absolutely stunning. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, this could be tough. I do like the way he's done the, the raised creek down there. A lot of the people who do these courses tend to make it a lot thinner. But it is, it's, it's, it's quite wide. I mean, look how wide he's got it down here. It looks beautiful. There you go. You've got your, your Hogan Bridge as well. Okay, 12 mile an hour wind from the back, so that's going to help us. I'm just going to skirt these trees here. Plenty of room. Oh, I thought I would pull that. Come on. Well, not pull, but I thought I'd add a little bit of draw. <laughs> Don't pull, a draw. Okay, so that's not bad. 328 yards. This is a tough hole, this, but it's, the pin's kind of at the back here. 192, so it's playing about 182. Oh, ho, ho. 11 mile an hour wind. I'm going to go with a 168, I think. Oh, I don't know. Oh, this could be... Oh. That's not bad. The wind's going to push it a little bit to the right, though. That's all right. That's okay. What a view that is. Beautiful. I didn't want to aim it too far to the left in case I pulled it too much and I would have been in the crap with them slopes there if you see them slopes. Okay, eight feet, five inches down. It's going to turn just a tiny, tiny touch, I think. Just want to try and get it to the edge of the cup there. You better turn, you son of a... I should have turned. Probably just a little bit too pacey. I should have been a birdie. Damn. Okay, hole 12. Golden Bell. Here we go. Right over the creek. Pin on the back of the center right. That's a cracking hole. So it takes the bunker out of play. Yeah, the Sunday pin. Okay, 158. So it's playing about 153. We've got that wind there, so I'm going to go with a 142. <laughs> this is going to be taking a chance here. Again, I'm not going to. I don't want to push it too much to the right because of my pull, and I don't want to move it too much to the left just in case I do pull it. So it's got a little bit of pull. Wind is pushing it towards the pin though. Oh yes, that'll do absolutely fantastic. Okay, we've got another buddy. Brings us to seven under. Okay, hole 13. This is Azealia. 511 yards, par five, stroke index 17. As you see, it turns way around to the left-hand side here. And you still got the creek that. All the way around, still coming around. It's a cracking hole, this one. You see, this green is totally in shadow. Oh, and the pin's right at the right at the edge there. It's really a tough pin. Okay, we've got the wind coming in from the right hand side. That's actually going to help us a bit. Should push it away from that right hand edge. Always oh, hit slow. That's going to keep it out there. The wind should help. That's okay. That's spawn. This pin could be pretty tough though. 13 mile an hour wind coming in from about 5 o'clock. 196, playing about 198. This is going to be tough landing. Ooh, hoo, hoo. 
I'm actually going to leave it with a 192. We're on big slope as well. I'm going to take a chance here. This wind and this slope. I'm going to push this quite a bit. Oh. Is it going to push it enough for me? Come on. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, that's not bad. That is not bad from there with that wind as well. I'm very happy with that shot. Even though it's a pretty tough putt, it's one foot down. misses just misses and the ball's still going oh my goodness come on ball stop oh it's trickle oh that's gone that's trickling off jesus that's just a little tiny tap i gave that as well oh, i'm gonna have to try and chip this in go on you bugger oh <laughs> Oh, that was so close. Okay, so that's our first bogey, guys. That's a sh Oh, no. Oh, it's a par five. Oh, yeah, it is. That's a oh, thank goodness for that. I forgot that was a par five. Oh, my head was in clouds there. That was good. Uh, that was good. Take the par off of that. I'll take the par. But that second shot, that was a good second shot. I really, really... Just that, that first part, damn. That is a tough green. A hole 14, 441 yards. Par 4, stroke index 9. And this is Chinese fur. Oh, look at that pin position again. Another one right on the edge. Got 11 mile an hour wind coming in from the left. Wind should keep it on for me. And look at that. Oh, coming through the sunlight there. Okay, we're going to have another tough pin position here with this wind, I think. Okay, 10 mile an hour wind coming in from about 11 o'clock. Shouldn't be too bad. It's playing about 154. Let's just go with this. See what this does. Oh, I've pushed that. Why did I push it? That was good. That was good distance. That would have been spot on if I didn't push that. Yeah, I'm going to put this. This is five yards. 23 feet. 15 feet. Four inches up. So I probably want to aim over here somewhere. Not too fast if I don't get it. Just as long as we get the par. Oh, I aimed that way too far out to the right. But we'll take a par that. That was a silly second uh, shot there when I pushed it over to the right. Which is something I never usually do. Usually always got a bit of a draw in my swing. Kind of throws me a bit when I do that. Okay, this is hole 15. Firethorn. 530 yards, par 5, stroke index 13. Huge open wide fairway. Hitting over the water towards the green. And where's the pin? The pin is on the back right hand side. Not a bad, bad size um, landing area there though. Compared to some of the others. But we're going to be going in if we're trying to reach it in two with quite a, a long club. See that was a little bit uphill up, so it sort of shortened the, the distance of the drive. 299, even though I had that wind with us as well. 300 yards. That's 232. And about 225. With that wind. That's 210 going to put us down there. I, think I might aim it over to the right hand side. Go with the 210. And hope for the best. Slow crap. That's sticking out that. Oh no, that's alright. Come on. It's gonna hit the upslope. Slow down. Oh, it leaves us a chance for an eagle putt here. 
that was luck. I actually thought I was going to be in that bunker that. Right. When it bounced on the green net, it just caught that upslope. Oh, I hate straight putts. They're never straight. <laughs> oh, TGC2. Why did you do this to me? It looks straight. Oh, I'm going to have to go with it. Oh, see this game. See this game. Kills me. Freaking kills me. I knew it. My instincts moved the marker to the right. You always get the phantom putt, but no. I trusted it. I looked at it. Didn't look like it was going to turn. It had that slight turn on it. It was my own fault. You should never trust bloody TGC2 putting. Okay. <sighs> Calm. Hole 16. This is Red Bud, 171 yards, par 3, stroke index 15, got 10 mile an hour wind, coming in from the right, 179 yards, but playing about 180. We've got 179 club, we're going to aim this way over to the right hand side. It doesn't matter if we're on that top of that shelf there, it should roll back down. With the wind, I'm hoping. Try and do a Come on, come on, you're gonna do it. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, a little bit further. <laughs> I don't know what it is with this hole, but everybody tries that. Put it up on the back shelf, try and run it down in towards the hole. You've got to try it. That was, that was close, that was close. Okay, 10 foot, three inches up. Turn you bugger. Oh yes. And we've we'll got another birdie. Birdie. We're doing well here guys. Doing well. Okay, hole 17. Uh, this is a Nandina. This is 441 yards par four stroke index eleven. Ah, uh, love this course. Absolutely love this course. Okay, we've got 10 mile an hour wind coming from the left. Gonna aim slightly to the left. The wind, even if I do pull it around, the wind should keep it on for me. That should be okay. Okay, 280 yard drive. What does it leave us? 169, 172, got that wind out. I think we'll go with the 179. One wind. Push, push, push. Come on, come on. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Got a little bit of a, a draw on that there. The wind didn't affect it as much. Hey, hold 10. Oh, I say, oh, I'm, my head's away with it. <laughs> 10 foot, one inch up. Oh. Okay, so it's going to turn left to right. Shouldn't turn too much. Oh, and I moved that out way too much. And I even said it's not going to turn too much. And yeah, I moved that out way too much. What an idiot. I think I have to take some of this break out. Oh, those little putts. A bit nerve wracking. That should have been a birdie there, guys. Hole 18, final hole, Holly. This is 465 yards par four, stroke index five. What a ride has been, beautiful. I haven't played this since last year at the Masters, Royce's course, I don't think, or I might have done it with, yeah, I think I have played it before then, but very rarely I play a course more than once or twice. But I've played this a few, few times and it just, oh, it blows me away, this course, I love it. Okay, 165 yards, got a bit of wind coming in from about ooh, 2 o'clock. That should keep this on the fairway for me. Now let's see if we can keep this bogey-free round. 
which is very rarely I do on Augusta. So I'm playing pretty well here. Okay, 167. That's playing about, playing about 180. We've got that wind against us as well. I'm gonna go up to the 192. I don't wanna be in that bunker. I wanna be behind the hole here. I'm gonna aim over to the right hand side. As you see, the green is actually sloping right to left. So I'm going to aim to the right hand side of the hole here. Oh, fast back swing. That's not bad. That should be okay. It depends on distance. That's going to be good. It's going to hit the slope. Come on, hit the slope. Go back. Down, down, down. Come on. No, don't stop. Keep going. Oh, it's going to be leave, leave a tough putt here. Not bad though, that's 17 feet, 3 inches down, hole 18 at Augusta. And this is by Royce guys, don't forget. Oh, am I going to get this? Am I going to get this? Nope, 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 yes! Oh, and he does it! So there you go guys, again, this is by Royce. And this is Augusta National, 18, Masters, 10 under. That was a bloody good round. Let me see that scorecard. Bogey free round. Eagle on the 8th. Fantastic course. Best rendition of Augusta out there. Hope you enjoy Masters Week this week. And let me know in the comments who you think is going to win. Oh, Ooh, who do I think? I reckon McElroy's been playing well though. Except for the, the match play. He sort of fell away there. So I reckon McElroy could do it. Anyway, guys, don't forget, if you like the content, hit the like button. And I will catch you again next time. And again, enjoy Master's Week. Enjoy this course. Play it. It's fantastic.